Hey y'all, it's a Thrifty Southerner, back again for another Thrifty Thursday haul. I think I missed last week. I just did not have anything to show you guys, but I do have some stuff for this week. If you are new to my channel, I would love to have you as a subscriber. I do these kind of videos. I do some Dollar Tree hauls. I do some TJ Maxx shop with me, things like that. So, um, just kind of a mixture of all kinds of stuff. So if you like those kind of videos, again, I'd love to have you as a subscriber. If you are interested in any of the items that I show in this video that I will be reselling, you may join my Facebook group. I will link it in the description box below. It is a closed group you'll have to ask to join. I will approve you, and then you may ask about an item. Please, when you ask about an item, give me your state so that I can tell you how much shipping is gonna cost. Let's get started. I have lots of stuff for us and our family. That's where I usually start, so I'm just gonna go through these real quickly because I've had to turn the AC off up here, and it's very hot. <laughs> So I'm going to go kind of fast. Okay. You guys know about my Nike Tempo obsession. So do I need to say more? I found another pair. I can't remember how much they were. I think they were like $4.95 or something. Okay. I work out every day and sometimes I need like, I wear a lot of the ones that are not Nikes that have the bike shorts underneath them, but I'd like to be able to wear more of my Nikes to work out. Um, so I got these guys to go underneath. They are Avia, which I think is just a Walmart brand. They were three bucks, three dollars and fifteen cents. And then I got these guys that have the built-in one again, and they're really cute. They are X PBX Pro. I have no clue, but they are like the biking shorts with the with I mean the jogging shorts, the built-in bike short, which I really like. So, all right. Got those. Um, I do fit boxing. My daughter does jujitsu and she's about to start doing kickboxing. So anytime I see anything that has to do with either one of those, I purchase it. These are some hand pads. It's a set. I looked these up. I paid $2.99 for the set. They're $24.99 a piece on Century's website. So I thought that was a really good deal. And then I got her. Since I, like I said, she's about to start fit boxing. These were a dollar, I mean, I'm sorry, kickboxing. These were a dollar fifty-five. She'll be doing technical kickboxing. So let's see. These are a dollar fifty-five, and I don't know yet if she can use them, but if she can, um, if she can't, they were about fifty-five, and if she can, then that's great. So got those. She also got this zombie grower, 55 cents. Go to some garage sales, and I think this is all I found. Literally the only thing I found. It is a Bath and Body Works pumpkin cupcake, and it's very little of it is burned. It smells so good, and it was a dollar, so I'll save that for fall. And... I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys what we're doing because I think we're far enough into it that hopefully, fingers crossed, it's not going to fall through or anything. We're almost to the appraisal part. We have purchased, well, are purchasing um, three and a little over three and a third acres, and we are going to put a cottage on there. It is a manufactured home. Um, I'll do a tour when we get it. It's going to have a tin roof and front porch and all that kind of stuff. So um, we're really excited and we're going to start kind of a mini homestead. We are still gonna travel, so we're not gonna have tons of animals. We're gonna have some chickens and eventually maybe a couple of goats, um, a huge garden. I love to garden. I've got a little raised garden here or a container garden. And then we also did a big garden. Our whole uh, park came together and did a big garden back there. But I'm super excited about it. We love the country, we love living out here, so we can have the best of both worlds. We can travel in our small fifth wheel and also have a small home and a homestead. Our cottage is 880 square feet, so it's still very small, but not a tiny home. Because we do have a daughter, if you don't know, while well, I just showed you some stuff. Her. She's 10, she's very tall, and a loft is just not gonna cut it for her. She's gonna need her own bedroom. But anyway, if you guys wanna see like the land and the process and stuff of like them doing the land and everything that we do, y'all let me know if you think you'd like to see those kind of videos. I know that's a huge departure from what you're used to seeing on my channel, but just let me know if you want me to take you guys along for the ride. Okay, that being said, back to the haul. I got this dude. He's just a, just a tchotchke. 
Then, I was really actually very excited about these. I have one in my car that I'm already listening to. I got one, two, three, four, five audio uh, audiobook CDs. So, this one is Bill Clinton and James Patterson reading The President is Missing, which is a Grisham, I think a Grisham book, or is it a James Patterson book? Anyway, I think it's a James Patterson book. This one, I got another one in the car. This is The Reckoning. It fell apart, but... And then I have David Balducci's Hell's Corner. I got these for 99 cents a piece. I still have a CD player in my car. So I have a 2011 car, uh, Nissan. So I still have a CD player. So I am going to be listening to these. And they were a great deal at 99 cents a piece. Okay, that's all that I got for us. If you guys hear music, my daughter's watching di washing dishes and she's listening to music. So, okay. Let's get started. These I found, they are Lily Pulitzer. Really cute shorts. These are the, I can't remember what they're called. I think it says inside here. These are the, nope. Does it say? I don't know. These are the little scalloped Lily Pulitzers. Nothing at all wrong with them. They are size 10. I believe there's us 10. Oh my God, yes. Oh, these are the Buttercup Short, size 10. Buttercup Short with the scalloped edges, size 10. Those will be for sale. And also, same place. These are the Callahan Short, and these are size 8. Super cute perfect condition. Look like they've barely been worn. So I was excited about those. And then this was a real find. I've got some stuff in it. It needs to be stuffed because it was very misshapen. But this, I saw this and I thought that looks like a really well-made bag. And then I saw the hang tag and it's a Henry Bendel or Henri Bendel, however you want to say it. They just went out of business. So all this kind of stuff the price will be going up on as far as, you know, like what it's worth because you can't get any more. It's got, I think, HB. Yeah, it's got HB on all these little guys. And then you've got the hang tag. And the inside is a little dirty. And like I said, it needs to be shaped, reshaped. So there's some marks here. I don't know if you guys can see that. So the inside's a little dirty, and there are, can you guys see that? There's some peeling of the edge coating just on the very corners from it flexing. Oh, you know what? Shoot, I didn't notice this, but this one's actually ripping. You could have it repaired. So it will be for sale for considerably less than what I was gonna sell it for. The rest of them I think are structurally okay. What did this person must have put some extreme uh, weight in here. So anyway, if you're interested in this, a cobbler can fix it and it would be considerably less than what I was gonna sell it for, so. That's that. Other than that one strap, it's in great condition. Oh, there is one area. There are, there are like some superficial scrapes. This is plastic with the glitter underneath. So obviously there are going to be some, some superficial scrapes and stuff on the plastic just from use. Okay. Next, this guy needs to be cleaned. I do have room to clean him because he's tiny. This is a coach. So cute. It's got this little clasp. And it says on it, I wouldn't walk a block without my cash and carry, especially down Madison Avenue. So this is a, I can't remember what her first name is, but she did a collection. Her last name's Cashin. And uh, really cute. The only thing is it's missing the coach hang tag. And I think that's what saved me because I got this at Goodwill and they would have totally. So <laughs> well, let me tell you guys a story. I would have two more coach purses. Our Goodwill brings out the bit, like the rolly bins from the back, and you can go through them. That's where I found these, and they weren't priced, and I asked, and she said 99 cents. That was a different day. 
So she rolls out this thing, and it's all supposed to be priced and ready to go on the floor. And I pull out two coach purses. They weren't priced, and they don't price their purses that are just, they're like all one price, like $4.99 or something. So I get up to the register, and the lady's like, oh. And then she's like talking to the manager behind her, and the lady's like, these are not going to be the uh, price of the purses over there. So then they proceed to tell me that the purses are going to be like $30 and $20. I was so pissed because whoever in the back didn't catch it, they would have gone on out and put them out there and somebody else would have gotten them. But they decided once I got up to the register that they were going to mark the prices up. Whatever. Anyway, I'm, I know people that one of y'all have had that happen before. It's so frustrating. So this saved me. The second time I went, I found this one and it was actually hanging already with all the other purses. Anyway. My ramble's over. I will wash this or I can sell it for less if you want to wash it. Just let me know. The last item I'm considering keeping for myself if no one else is interested. I believe it's Banana Republic. I thought it was vintage at first and then is it it's J. Crew. It is a super cute bucket bag. It's brown and black leather. Okay. Got black strap. Let me show you the front of it. Yeah, there we go. Super cute. It's in excellent condition. I mean, excellent condition. There's no wear on the bottom. So, oh, and I didn't tell you guys either. There's um, a little wear on the corners of this one. It's mostly just dirty, though. All right, I know that was not a huge haul, but I wanted to show you guys what I had. I also have a video coming out from a, where I'm going to open a box. I'm probably going to film it right now, so I'm going to be dressed the same. Um, it's a company that does, like, they resell clothing for you to resell, and you buy a box. I'll tell you guys all about it. But anyway, stay tuned for that video, and we'll see if it was a good deal. I have not opened it yet. All right, you guys, until next time, y'all keep it thrifty.